30 universities from around the world are here to compete at SPE's largest Petra Bowl to date. Hi, I'm Sarah Solomon for SPE TV and we're just moments away from finding out the SPE 2012 Petra Bowl winner. Student chapter teams are putting their thinking caps on and testing their knowledge of the ENP industry and SPE in this tournament style contest. It feels like you're at a sporting event uh, cheering on your team but uh, also knowing the people that are up there, that means a lot. And, and knowing people that are on other teams too. So, uh, you know, you can kind of cheer for other teams, yet you really, want, you really want your friends to win. It's a really great opportunity for the students, kind of be able to create a little competition between them. So it's very fun, got to be loud, exciting. The winning team takes home a cash prize, but more importantly, a great sense of pride and accomplishment. All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. The winners are joining me now, the Colorado School of Mines. Congratulations, you're the 2012 SPE Petra Bull winners. How does it feel to win? Feels fantastic. I mean, Colorado School of Mines, we're a world-class institution, and it's good to come here and sort of display that on a world stage. So we, we're pumped. We're all hard work paying off right now. Feels great. You guys have been answering questions back and forth for hours now. Let's talk a little bit about the preparation that goes into um, the Petra Bull. Well, I, I could mention the weekly practices that we had and all the question submissions that we did, but I think the ultimate training for this is the experience we get in school and on our summer internships, to which uh, I, I'm very grateful. I think we all are to be a student at Mines, where we truly get a world-class education and have opportunities to work and, and travel and study all around the world. All right, well, congratulations from all of us here at SPE TV. That does it here for us at the Petro Bowl. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Solomon.